All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize GeForce experience to make sure that you're getting the best performance and you're not leaving any performance potentially lying on the table. So first and foremost, um, yesterday I did a video on the performance of GeForce experience installed with a driver versus installing a driver without GeForce experience. And once you optimize GeForce experience, you're actually not losing that much performance. And it does give you that extra functionality of being able to record gameplay. So it is pretty cool. Other than that, if you're not recording gameplay, I don't know why you'd want to use GeForce experience. Definitely don't use it to update your drivers. Rather watch my channel and then if a driver is good, I'll tell you to download the latest driver. But as you can see here, with GeForce experience, once it's optimized, you maximum losing half a FPS in average and half a FPS on average um, in terms of the 1% lows. When you just install a driver straight, you do get half a percent extra or half a FPS extra in terms of average FPS and average 1% lows. But it's not severe. A GeForce experience does give you that extra little functionality, so that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, let's just go to GeForce experience. I've already optimized my GeForce experience, so I'm just going to show you the settings that I use. Oh, I just recently got a 2 terabyte uh, NVMe. God damn, it feels good not to have to delete and install games over and over and over again. But I'm, I'm digressing here. So just go to the little settings cog over here. If you're recording gameplay, you definitely want to make sure that the in-game overlay is on or else it's not going to be able to record that gameplay for you. Things that you definitely want to switch off are whisper mode. You don't need it. Unless your laptop is right, the fans are going crazy. But this is going to kill your performance a little bit. Battery boost is going to kill your performance a little bit. So just make sure whisper mode is off. Make sure battery boost is off. And then uh, every time you install a new driver, these are going to be selected by default. Just unselect reward is available. Unselect GeForce driver update is available. You don't want GeForce experience to update your drivers for you. Because A, um, you're not going to choose to update your driver and then all of a sudden you've got a new driver and then you're sh you have to wait for shaders to load again and maybe your in-game settings are changed. So if you do want to update your driver, rather watch my channel and if a driver is good, I'll let you know and then you update your driver manually. So just make sure that GeForce driver update is off, reward up is available is off and then what you're going to do is we're going to go to open in-game overlay and then for people that do record and you don't want to have um, uh, your breathing or whatever when you're recording gameplay obviously switch off the microphone i just have it off by default and then we're going to go to the little settings cog over here one thing you definitely want to switch off is highlights this is basically if you're playing a game and then something cool happens and then you can quickly get that recording this is going to kill your performance, so just make sure highlights are off unless you like that functionality. I don't, so I always make sure that's switched off. And then just a quality of life setting for keyboard shortcuts. Um, I do record my gameplay quite often for videos as well as driver updates. So toggle manual recording on and off. I just use page up. It's very convenient. And then if you want to test latency and all that, Toggle performance overlay, I just put on page time. But I mean, those aren't performance settings. Those are just my little personal settings. Other than that, that's pretty much GeForce done. Guys, if you if you don't record gameplay, don't use GeForce Experience. If you're recording gameplay, GeForce Experience, other than buying a capture card, is the best lossless FPS experience you can have. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. Guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's people like you. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. Cheers.